Hello, welcome to Columbus, Ohio. This is Rachel Miller with Color Splash. I am working on a 10 by 10 bisque tile and I had an idea to do something different today for a blowout. I have absolutely no idea how this is gonna work I or work out, but I think what I'm gonna do is start with a line across here. And I think I'm gonna blow this way and this way both and see what how that turns out we'll just see i've got an idea in my head i have no idea if this is going to work out or not but may as well give it a try so i am starting with a little bit of arteza Payne's gray and i'm just gonna go across a couple times here I'm gonna use my regular colors. I just am gonna be blowing in a much different way than normal. I don't even have an idea of how much paint I should have down in order to make this work. So I'm just gonna guess and see what happens. So here is my Payne's Gray by Arteza. Hands down, my favorite Payne's Gray, if you want a little bit of blue in your look. Um, next, I'm going to add a little bit of Neutral Gray by Amsterdam. And this is just simply to sort of add some texture and dimension to my pearl cells. I think I'm going to add a little bit of it up here. Okay, then I am going to come in with some blues. Let me grab my brilliant blue. Actually, I take that back. I am going to come in with my titanium buff. What am I thinking? I always use my titanium buff in the beginning. And this, more than any other color, definitely adds a lot of dimension to the pearl cells. It adds a lot of shading and highlights. It's what makes them look much more three-dimensional than your average pearl cell. Sorry for holding my cup where I just did. I wasn't thinking about the camera. Um, now I'm coming in with some brilliant blue. And this is by Amsterdam. And then I'm gonna come in with a little bit of King's Blue, also by Amsterdam. Then I'm going to add a little bit of turquoise green by Amsterdam. I definitely want to get a good bit of the turquoise green in here. And then I'm going to add a little bit of my parakeet color, which is a custom color made by mixing um, Amsterdam Olive Light Hue with a little bit of Artist Loft Soft Body White, kind of almost at a one-to-one -one ratio. And I'm gonna add a little bit of my Pebeo Naples Yellow. And I think I'm going to put in a little bit of my Pebeo Iridescent Copper. And then I'm gonna come back in with a little bit more of the Payne's Gray. A little bit more of the Brilliant Blue. I'm just kind of re doing some of these blue colors. And 
I think I'll add a little bit more of my parakeet color towards the top. And I think I'm going to leave it at that. So I think I'm going to put my cell activator in a line. I hope that's correct. won't need as much of it towards the center as I will on the ends because it's going to have to go much farther on the ends. I think this cell activator is just the wrong consistency. I, I am not real happy with this batch. It is definitely not the baby oil consistency I like for it to be, but I'll give it a chance. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my blow dryer and I have no idea what's gonna happen here, but I'm gonna work on the local setting. loving this. Yeah, like this cell activator just doesn't want to move much, does it? Well, this is kind of a bummer. Let's see. what happens if I add a little bit more paint here. Whoops. no idea what's going to come of this, but I'm going to give it a chance, see if I can salvage this at all. try to blow this out. Interesting. Oh, yeah, yeah. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous. However, I have this wave effect going now, and I'm not real sure how to salvage it. Wow. There's some cool stuff happening, but it's still a little odd. I'm 
I'm just trying to decide what I can do to kind of fix this. I'm gonna try to tilt a little bit, kind of level this out. Because there are some really, really pretty elements here. I'm wondering if, well, let me see what happens if I do some skewering. Maybe if I can get rid of some of this white and get some color to come up through here. Actually, skewering is not working super well. I'm getting some cells, but not like I would with the black hole blowout. So there are definitely some pretty elements here. There are just definitely areas that don't work for me. And I'm not real sure how to fix it. I guess this was a fun experiment, but I'm not so sure I'm going to keep it. I'd be happier if this area was covered, and I'm thinking I could probably add a little more color here and blow that direction. I'm just not quite sure how that would impact the piece as a whole. It's such an unusual tile, though. I mean, it's definitely cool. Okay, I'm definitely talking out loud. Why not give it a try? What the heck? It's going to drive me nuts if I don't. So I'm just going to work a tiny little area of paint. And use just a couple dots of color. And we'll see what happens. I guess I'll put a little bit of the iridescent copper in here. Okay, let me get some cell activator. Oopsies. Okay. So, let me grab my blow dryer. Yay! Okay, that made a big difference. <laughs> that little bit of coverage. I know there's kind of an odd swoop there, but I can fix that with the skewer, I think. just a very unusual piece but you know what I kind of like how unusual it is I like I like a lot about it it's definitely different than what I would normally do let me take you guys in for a closer look. check that out 
Super unusual, right? And I've got some beautiful cells occurring. Really cool metallic looking colors. I definitely need to make a new cell activator because the one I've made is just not working as well as it should. But I do think this is gonna be a really interesting tile once it's dry. It's very, I mean, it's very unusual. There's no doubt about it. I have made nothing like it before, but I kind of dig that it's so different. I mean, it's really a lot of open white lacing areas and then this really weird kind of spacey array of cells and color. And I think that's kind of cool. So I'm gonna keep the piece and we'll just see how it dries. Cause I think this could be a very interesting, interesting tile. Well, thank you for joining me to do this experiment. It's, I just got paint all over my phone screen. Dang it. I appreciate you guys joining me for this. I think I'm going to go back and do another black hole blowout now. Do what I know I can do well. But I'm really glad that I gave this a chance. Gotta at least you say, you say you've been able to try everything you've thought of in your head at least once, right? So I'm uh, pretty stoked with this. Anyway, please remember to click like and subscribe. And as always, happy painting, y'all. See you next time. Bye.